All right, today I wanna share some love. I love the platform of YouTube. I think it's so crazy how many amazing creators there are that are constantly putting out free content for everybody to watch that's entertaining and providing value. You can learn from stuff. Um, I just think it's really, really cool. The fact that a random Finnish Canadian guy living in a small random town in Canada can make videos, put them on the internet, and we can have this amazing community of people watching the videos and interacting. It's honestly wild. And today I wanna give some credit to a few of my favorite channels that I watch all the time. And no, I'm not just gonna go through all the Toronto guys, the Dope Squad, and all my friends, my brother. Um, we're gonna ignore those channels. We're gonna talk about some different channels. And if you already watch one of these creators, make sure to go and comment on their video or send them a DM or tag them on Twitter and just say something nice. Say thank you for creating cool content. Say, say that you appreciate them. Say anything nice. It goes a long way and it really does help to motivate the creators and just makes them feel good for putting out all this content. And sometimes you don't really get the appreciation for it. Remember, what benefits me benefits you, what benefits you benefits me. If that didn't make sense, go and watch the video I posted about happiness like last week. Okay, so these are some of my favorite channels right now and it's honestly so hard to choose just five, so do not be offended if I did not choose your channel because it's it's impossible. There's so many channels that I love, but these channels are really great for us filmmakers to learn more about uh, cameras and filmmaking and even just about tech or minimalism and life stuff that, that will help you in life and to be a better filmmaker. All right, so first up is my friend Potato Jet. Gene is his actual name. His name is not Potato. And I just love his content. Every time I watch it, I just smile, I laugh. There's just these crazy, wacky moments that he puts in. For example, this one. Or this one. Not only is he funny and entertaining, but he really does know a ton about filmmaking. Um, he has videos all the way from having kind of budget setup stuff to the high end shooting with Alexa's, what Hollywood filmmakers are doing. So there's just a broad range of information that Gene is putting out in a really entertaining uh, way. Uh, there's not too many people that can do that genuinely, but I think Gene Potato Jet really pulls it off. If you don't watch his content yet, you're missing out and you should definitely check him out. Then next up we have Andreas Hem, and this guy is super interesting. I first started watching his content or, or found out about him when he applied to be Yoon Olsen's editor. Um, he's another daily vlogger and he makes some of the most interesting creative stuff that's on YouTube in my opinion. And you often watch his content and you're just like inspired and you leave thinking like, wow, and... I met Andreas in Dubai a couple months ago and he's just a really cool guy, really nice guy, humble dude. Um, yeah, I can't recommend his channel more. It's just on a different level. You'll understand as soon as you start watching his content what I'm talking about. I'm definitely gonna make you dance in one of my videos with explosions. I have no idea what that means, but I'm scared. Then one of my favorites for a long time now is Sarah Dietschy. And there's a lot of reasons why I like Sarah's content. It just feels really genuine. I think I'm, I'm drawn to a lot of creators that make genuine, honest content that doesn't really seem like they're acting and putting on some sort of charade. They're being who they are. And I think one of the biggest things that I like about Sarah is she's a great filmmaker, really high quality content, but she's also a hustler. I feel like she really hustles to make things happen. A lot of people could say that she's only big because Casey Neistat shouted her out but I think she's really proven herself in this space that she is a content creator. She's really talented. I don't think anybody could justify saying nowadays that she's only big because of Casey. She makes entertaining, informative stuff all about technology, filmmaking, just like a broad range of stuff. So yeah, I highly recommend watching Sarah and there aren't too many females kind of in this filmmaking tech area. So I just think it's really nice to have that perspective. And then we have one of my favorite camera reviewers, 
Kai W. I, I, when I think of his reviews, I think of kind of like no bull reviews. I honestly can't believe that so many companies, camera companies, give him these cameras to test out and he will literally say whether it's a good camera or not. Free camera, enjoy it, stuff. it's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and I really appreciate that, that's actually pretty rare I feel like in the whole social media space because usually you're trying to please you know the company that's giving you something and you don't want to say too many negative things um, and then you, you also get a lot of flack for saying negative things especially about cameras it's almost like you're dissing somebody's kid that's what I always say and that's why people get so angry when somebody says something bad about their camera so I really appreciate Kai W who makes super entertaining reviews on all sorts of cameras I feel like he's tested out every single camera that's ever existed. Um, I highly recommend checking out his channel if you're looking at new cameras and you want some sort of opinion on there. It's definitely one of the first places that I look at when there's a new camera because first of all, he's he's got the hands-on experience right away and then he's making these really good kind of non-biased or as non-biased as you can be of different cameras. So yeah, Kai W, check him out. He has this like BBC documentary voice that's just, I don't know, it's just nice to listen to. And then lastly, we have a channel that's just exploding, growing so fast, Matt Diavella. And I actually saw his documentary on minimalism way before I saw any of his YouTube content, but I'm super impressed with what he's able to do. And I think Okay, his stuff looks amazing. His his framing, the shots, the color grading, the way it's put together, everything is really nice. But what I'm most impressed with is his storytelling. It's kind of slow paced, but it's so interesting at the same time. The things he's saying are just getting down to business and the visuals are, are playing along really well in his videos. He just makes these really interesting videos that are kind of, uh, uh, different from the filmmaking stuff that I watch on YouTube a lot. I think Matt has some of the strongest storytelling on YouTube, so if you wanna learn more about storytelling or telling stories in a different kind of way, I highly recommend watching Matt's channel, and there's a lot of good stuff on there, talking about minimalism and just life hack kind of stuff, uh, just a lot of good stuff that isn't necessarily filmmaking geared, but I think it'll make you a better person, I think. I also just like that he seems like a really genuine guy. He doesn't seem like, again, he's putting on some sort of act. He's just being himself, and that just really shows in his videos. All right, so those are some of my favorite YouTube channels that I watch all the time. I try to consume a lot of content because it's really easy to get kind of caught up in the grind and then and then you're not learning yourself and you're not getting inspired yourself and all of that stuff starts to wear on you and your work isn't gonna be as good as it once was because you're just not as into it or you haven't learned new things. There's nothing fresh about it. You're just kind of doing the same stuff over and over again. I always kind of laugh to myself when I ask another creator what channels or what content they consume and they say like, oh, I don't actually really watch anything. And as as a filmmaker, photographer, or anything with the creative space, I feel like you have to consume a lot. I try to watch a lot of TV shows, movies, YouTube, all sorts of stuff so that I can learn, be inspired, and just be a better filmmaker in the end. If you're not following these channels, I'll link them down below. And remember, go and say something nice. Just leave a little comment of appreciation. What benefits me benefits you. What benefits you benefits me. Please, let's just appreciate each other and be happy. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. I will see you guys later.